Okay, what I want to show here is how to create a scrolling, scrolling background for a game. So I'll start off by creating the, uh, click on my first frame here, and use a paintbrush and just create kind of a landscape. And I'm just going to make, this will be kind of like uh, hills. And so I'll create a couple of hills. First, and maybe there's another little hill there. Okay, and then let's do something else just to make it look more like a background. Uh, let's change our color and make some clouds. And I know these are pretty basic, but it's all in the interest of time. So we got our basic background. Let's uh, grab it all. And make sure you grab every pixel that you painted, otherwise your motion tween may not work so well. And we'll do an edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Hold down the shift key and the right arrow key and move this over so that it basically duplicates your background to the right. And that looks pretty close to me. So that's done. Now I can grab everything, so I'm going to window everything in the scene. And I'm going to go to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and I'll call this BKG and D for Background. And that's OK. And now I'm going to go to, let's say, frame 40, and hit F6. So now this symbol is selected. There's two keyframes. I'm on the last keyframe, frame 40. I'm going to hold down Shift and left arrow and just move this over so that it's right at the end, probably right there. I'm going to go to my first frame. And I'll go up to tween and say I want a motion tween. And now we'll just test it out. I'll go to control, test movie. It's really hard to appreciate it until you actually publish it. But what you can see is that it's repeating itself. Um, but let's look at the better version once we publish it. So let's give this a name. And let's publish that. Okay. Now if I double click that and drag it in here, that's what I've got. A repeating background. Okay, which is nice for scrolling games. But what we probably want to do in a lot of cases is somehow squeeze all these frames down to one frame. Put them all into one symbol so that they're more easily managed in a game. So here's how we would do that. Go to frame 40. Don't move that frame, but just press and drag and release and grab all those frames and do a copy frames. Then go to click somewhere, create a new layer, click on that empty keyframe, and insert new symbol. And what we'll call this one is background holder. I'm just using the name so that they make sense. And this is a movie clip. Now in background holder I'm going to click on the first frame, right click, and say uh, paste frames. So all that stuff I did before is now in here. Now I can go back to scene one, get rid of all these frames, remove frames, click on either one of those layers I want to, hit F seven so I have a place to put my symbol that I already made. Go to window, library, background holder and press drag release right into position. Use your arrow keys to move it until it looks good. And file, save. And now you got everything captured into one keyframe. And if we test it, it works just the same. And if we save it, and publish it. It looks just the same. There's the movie. You want to slow it down? You'll have to go into the symbol itself, double click, go to frame 40 or whatever frame it's on, press and drag to frame 60, now it'll be 50% slower. The other way you can slow it down is in your properties panel, just click in the background of your stage and say I want this to be 10 frames per second or faster, 20 frames per second, whatever it is. 
The key thing here is that the size of the stage, in this case 300 by 200 pixels, is what you're going to be seeing. So you need to make your background twice as big and motion tween it from this position to when it's from this position until it's here. And so that's why you're duplicating the background. Hope that makes sense.